everything happening in the Middle East impacts this. <laughs> Gas prices, you know, I, I've been saying, and, and you and I have been visiting on this program for the better part of 12, 13 years now. Right. I have said to you for 13 years, let's drill here, let's drill now, let's drill safely. I mean, all yeah. the key little buzzwords that you're supposed to use. Senator, uh, it hasn't happened. We haven't done it. What do you think we could do if we were to say starting tomorrow to impact our own gas prices and, and just – to give a little more control to ourselves in this country. Well, oil and gas are commodities. The more of it, the less it costs, right? You would think. Yeah. Okay, look at the oil sands up in um, – we're about 3 million barrels a day below um, what we need to be. And you can get about 750,000 barrels a day just from Canada. Build a pipeline, for God's sakes, from Canada down to the Gulf Coast – that's 20,000 jobs, and it will be about 750,000 barrels of oil a day will generate in the future from Canada. Anwar is another 750,000 barrels. Off the East Coast, South Carolina, North Carolina, uh, 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 Virginia, maybe Georgia, the Eastern Gulf for sure, there's a lot of untapped oil and gas resources. If the president decided tomorrow that we would aggressively open up the continental shelf, Anwar, and uh, built a pipeline from Canada, you'd see a dramatic drop in gas prices simply because of future supply. All right, let's say, hypothetically, that Mitt Romney defeats Barack Obama. Yeah. Do you think you'll see more of that push? If, if he doesn't, he's missing a huge opportunity. What I tried to do a, several years ago with Lieberman uh, and Kerry was to do a kind of a comprehensive deal. You got the environmental community. He wants us to move, move away from fossil fuel. You don't have to agree with global warming to understand that the more fossil fuel we use, the more dangerous it is for us as a nation. You know, wouldn't you love to be able to go to the Mideast one day and say, we'd like to help you, but we don't need your oil? So the idea of getting off fossil fuels as a, as a source of fuel is a good idea, but it's going to be generations. So let's find as much of it as we can on our shores that we control and try to find technology to, to reduce demand for fossil fuel. So what I wanted to do is expand nuclear power on the production side, Building nuclear power plants is a great way to create jobs in America and become energy independent. Use coal. Just make it cleaner coal. Gas is the bridge fuel. It's cleaner than coal. We have more of it than any place in the world. So let's go find the gas through fracking, do it in an environmentally sure, sound way. Sure. So if I were Romney, I would promise an energy independence initiative, and I would lay out what I've just said. Under Romney presidency, we're going to explore off the continental shelf. We're going to open up the eastern gulf. We're going to open up Anwar. We're going to build a pipeline from Canada, and at the same time, we're going to expand our nuclear power footprint to create jobs and independent source of energy. And we're also going to move into the alternative energy arena with wind, uh, solar, uh, the other technologies, hybrid cars. Just do all the above. See, when Obama says all the above, it's something he knows he has to say politically. I don't think it comes from his heart. It's words out of his mouth, not from his heart. I think when Romney says all the above, he really means 